YouTube! Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy T back at it again with another episode of Talking with T. Let's get into it. Let's get after it, man. In today's episode, we're going to go over trade possibilities for Tyrell Crosby and my thoughts on the Detroit Lions bringing in Todd Gurley for a visit. Let's go. Yeah! yeah. All right, it is now June 1st. I'm expecting a lot more trades to start going down now that teams can start saving money into the cap space from trading these guys. The three players that keep coming up for the Detroit Lions are Trey Flowers, Jamie Collins, and Tyrell Crosby. The first two guys I do not really want to trade. Here's why. Trey Flowers makes that defensive line right now look like somewhat of a strength. If you were to trade him, it would go back down to a weakness. And I'm excited to see what Trey Flowers can do under this new coaching staff because when he was in New England, he was a dog. And that coaching staff that we just previously had kind of derailed and was expecting a lot from him. We have a lot of decent pieces on the defensive line, and he doesn't have to be the star player in the defensive line right now, so he's not going to get a lot, as much double teams as he was in the past couple of years. I'm excited to see what Trey Flowers can do under this new coaching staff, but if we were to trade him, I understand why. Jamie Cowan, same thing. I, I think we need some linebackers right now, and if we traded him, that would just make that linebacker core just keep going down right now. That's one of our biggest weaknesses right now is the linebacker room, and I'm excited to see what Jamie Collins can do under this new coaching staff. Tyrod Crosby, on the other hand, he's been a decent offensive lineman for us the past couple of years, and he's created some trade value for him, so I'm excited to see what we could get for him. I want to go get either a young wide receiver that needs a brand new fresh start or a young linebacker that needs a brand new fresh start for Tyrell Crosby or go get me some draft capital or keep him and have him compete for that right guard spot. Any of these guys, I do not really want to trade, but I understand why. And the only one that I really could see us getting some real value for right now is Trey, or not Trey Flowers, uh, Tyrell Crosby package him up with a third rounder or a second rounder and go get Odell Beckham Jr., man. That would be a decent trade, and we need a wide receiver, and he's coming off an ACL injury. He's got a chip on his shoulder, and that brings some people in here that fit the mold that Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes are trying to build right now. And if we were to bring in Todd Gurley, I would love it. Here's my take on it, man. You have three home run hitters in the backfield. Yes, I understand that Todd Gurley has bad knees right now, but he still rushed for 900 yards last year. I'm pretty sure. No, it was either 600 or 900 yards last year. Nine touchdowns. That's better than any of our backup running backs have had ever. And you have him coming in here playing for that third running back spot. That would be very, very smart. You would have three home run hitters in the backfield every time they come into the game. Your line, the opposing linebackers got a key in on Hawkinson or a running back every time they come into the field. That would create some headaches. Our offense is not going to be as bad as people are making it out to be. I'm actually pretty excited to see what this offense can do. It's your boy T signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video.